Hello, Michael Glenn here on my way to class. I'm running a little bit late. The traffic has been pretty crazy as usual. I have classes uh, three nights per week, kind of the same schedule that Hatsumi Sensei uses. Um, my Tuesday night class is my most basic. Thursday night class tonight uh, tends to be related to the yearly theme in Japan. Um, and we work on different ryuha, kata. My Sunday night class, we do weapons and we also study more yearly theme related topics uh, and it tends to be more advanced. Um, we'll see how tonight's class goes and I'll talk to you guys afterwards. Strange shit going on around. <laughs> 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 Bujinkan is very strange. It's a very strange art. And because because it's so strange, I um I just don't know what I'm saying anymore. Yeah, uh, Max of the Randori, take two. Yes. <laughs> so, so uh, what happened? You did some Randori? Yeah, uh, I've been waiting to do Randori a long time, like we've been talking about it. I remember like even since like 2004 when mm -hmm. we first started training. And I guess we didn't have the same amount of like, I don't know, like experience, like, like the, the Buyu. So it was something that we couldn't really like, delve into. Right. So tonight we had an experience and it was like, it's pretty cool because I, I felt like I got lost in it, but then I like found my way back and I guess glimpses of the technique would come back into it. but. Ultimately, I guess it's like the best way or the, I guess kind of the closest you can get to like a combat situation maybe. Mm. I guess depending on your level, but right. I thought it was really insightful and enjoyable. And I told James, like I've been waiting to do this for a while. Like man, it's, it's felt really just cool to experience that. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I appreciate that. Mike. Mike check one, two, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so why are you here, James? Uh, nothing better to do. Nothing better to do. But is there ever really? <laughs> I've never had anything better to do than uh, train Budo, so. Oh, yeah, that's a good answer. Why stop now? That's a good answer. Yeah. My pants were too long, so I had to get that taken care of. Oh, yeah, who took care of that for you? Who did take care of? Oh, was it you, Michael? Did you rip my pants? Yeah. All right, how was class? Uh, painful, but non injurious, which is. Non injurious. <laughs> which is good. <laughs> Whoa. Pain is good, but injuries are bad, so. Yeah. You learned a lot of lessons of the techniques without getting too hurt. <laughs> Thank, so, you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. How was class for you today, Michael? Um, it was actually quite beneficial. Uh, I think this is my first time doing Randori ever. Oh, really? We didn't even do that much of it, but it, you no. found it helpful? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's funny because in my classes when I teach kids, they're always trying to attack me and it just feels like you're in a blender. But with adults, it's completely different because you feel not only the intention, but the drive to not only dodge, block, counter, and 
you don't know what to expect. You don't even know what you're going to throw out, and you don't know the outcome. Right. So it's kind of interesting to have Randori with adults for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's complicated, but at the same time, if you stay calm enough and you let your body move, uh, you can avoid it. What, so what surprised you with the Randori? Um, just the timing of the attacks, like they're so rapid, they just like come one after another. Oh yeah. And you could, if you're paying attention to the, the timing of the attack, you could kind of see how it blends from a punch to a kick, to an elbow, to a knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just the simple movement of getting out of the way or blocking it, you can see other things opening up. Right. Uh, it was just quite surprising, oh. very surprising, especially being on the other end of throwing the attacks. <laughs> it's like, oh God, and then you fall down. <laughs> you didn't realize that all that weight that went into your punch or your kick yeah. is now being driven to the ground or away from the person. Wow, wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice. nice, intense feeling. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I smelled something. Oh yeah, you smelled the pain. <laughs> I, I had this strange smell of, of uh, pastel colors, and uh, it, you know, and yeah. I um, felt different from last training, but felt like I got something out of it. I do not know what it is, but I definitely know that I got something out of it. This is my man Shagun. He's been training with me since 2004. What? I'm getting old. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm getting old. <laughs> So that's a long time, dude. So what keeps you coming back, man? Uh, when I first started training, I guess, like, I heard so much about it, like, and I heard a lot about Hatsumi. Mm -hmm. And then from that, like, I didn't know about Takamatsu. And then I started just hearing all these stories about how he could do these amazing feats. And right. I just thought that was really inspiring. But then actually having an experience in it, it just changed my whole perception of it. Like, wow. Like, and just seeing, like, what we couldn't do and what the teachers could do or what the she how I could do, how they would do it with so much ease. I was just like, what is it that, how do you get to that level? Or, yeah, yeah. And I don't feel like I'm at any level where I can emulate that, but it's, it feels cool to be able to do Randori, finally. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so when you uh, when you first started training in 2004, you were just a young guy, right? Yeah. And um, the training back then seemed a lot different to you than it does now. Yeah, I think so. I think like it's a lot easier to absorb stuff now. I don't know if that's the experience, but you you said like Hatsumi has structured it that way, where it's just easier just to absorb a lot more. And, and I feel like training is more enjoyable. Like I don't have to think about, oh, I can't get the technique. But now it's just like. You know, Whatever. And roll with it easier, yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, even when you first started, you always had a very natural ukemi. Like, uh, you, that was one of the things you picked up really quickly. I remember uh, as a young man, like, your rolls were very natural, and you were better at some of them than I am, right? <laughs> and that was very cool to see. Um, so I think uh, maybe that's part of your personality a little bit, yeah. feel like you can feel yourself changing and you can use the heart as a barometer to see yourself change. So like it feels like, like I, we've talked about this before, like the art is a reflection of where you are in life and like your state. And I feel like I'm experiencing that a lot more now. And it's just really, it's fun to see the reflection, I guess. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
yet. Uh, we all reflect each other. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. like, uh, you know, I've known you since 2004, and, and uh, your Taijutsu reflects me too. It's, uh, it's very useful for me, in my own learning. <laughs> so, thank you. Look at Senpai Wisdom. <laughs> Hey, Michael here. I just finished up class. Uh, we had a great training. It's pretty humid out tonight, so we all got really sweaty. Um, I wanted, Tonight's class reminded me of something that's really important in training, and that's that uh, by working together as uh, friends in training, or Buyu, we, it, it brings us all something special. Um, some people try to train just by themselves, or maybe people uh, try to do a private class one-on-one. -on -one. But there's something about the environment of a bunch of people training together, all striving to understand the concepts in the Bujinkan uh, that really creates a dynamic environment and brings us something special. The opportunity for real growth and real learning comes in this environment. Um, and it, there's like uh, more power uh, in this environment than there is just in a one-on-one -on -one training session or doing some solo training. Uh, there's nothing wrong with solo training and there's nothing wrong with training one-on-one, -on -one, but something about the dynamic environment of a lot of people training together, working towards the same goal, trying to understand the same concepts, um, it's like everyone rises together. And tonight's class where I got to see some of my students who've been training with me for many years, um, it really gave me that feeling. When I get to train with people who understand me and I understand them, it uh, helps me to grow also as a teacher and as a student in the Bujinkan. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful feeling having these people in my life and being able to do this kind of training.